All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Peter Renna back with another edition of Dollar Bin Digging. Now, this week, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to go back and do a little bit more WandaVision. Uh, just based on last week's episode alone. Now, I realize at this point, you guys are probably already have stayed up until three in the morning last night to watch the episode eight, or you've been got up early this morning to watch it. So you're probably already ahead of the game as far as WandaVision spec goes. But the, the books I picked this week are just kind of things that are just kind of sparked in my mind after watching last week's uh, episode. So I realize this is a little bit behind, but I still think these are things you should still keep an eye out for because they can be found in those cheap boxes still if you uh, look hard enough. So with that said, please like and subscribe to my channel as well as Tales from the Flip Side. And uh, please read the article over on comicbookinvest.com where I'm putting down all the prices and giving you recent sales so you can see exactly why I picked these and uh, why uh, yeah, you can do well if you look for these books. So with that said, please just hang in there for a second and we're going to get right into the books. All right. As I noted before we uh, before the break, these are books that are specifically related to uh, episode seven of WandaVision. So if you haven't seen that episode, please, now's your warning. You know, don't go on any further because I'm going to spoil stuff because that's what all this these picks are based off of. So that's your warning. I'm not giving you any more time. So with that said, my first book is kind of related to the little commercial that they throw in. Ask your doctor about Nexus, a unique antidepressant that works to anchor you back to your reality or the reality of your choice. Uh, to the episodes. And in this commercial, they kind of tease the uh, a pill, basically. But it was Nexus. The, the name of the pill was Nexus. And this is just in reference to, you know, Wanda being a Nexus being, uh, basically. Now, uh, credit to Topher, who uh, covered this in True First just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he recommended this book. And this book can still be found on the cheap. Either, whether it's in the cheap bins, the cheap back issue bins at your shop, you can even find cheap ones online. Because again, if you, you check out the article on comicbookinvest.com, you will be able to see that there are still some sales that even online were still relatively very, very cheap compared to where the prices are now. Because I will say this right now for all the books on this list, all these could can be considered hot books based on the prices that have skyrocketed over the last seven days or so. So there's your warning for that. But getting back to that Nexus being a uh, bit that I was talking about, Avengers West Coast number 61 is uh, the issue where it's revealed that Wanda is basically one of these Nexus beings. And uh, that's basically one of these beings that she's pretty much the same. She's a, a keystone throughout all the multiverse. And with everything coming up and you know planned in the Marvel Universe with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and the Time Variance Authority that we know is going to be in Loki, all these things kind of tie into this idea of her being a Nexus being. So it, it makes a lot of sense. So this issue here is worth it because it kind of, you know, again, outlines that a little bit for us and introduces that idea that she is one of these important Nexus beings in the, the Marvel Universe and all universes, basically. So you can see here, they kind of, again, break down what I just said. Scarlet Witch is the Nexus being one who belongs equally to all possible timelines, all realities, and divergences. So, again, they're just kind of teasing this idea and moving us forward into a, a much, much larger multiverse. So, again, this is the book you just want to keep an eye out for because you still might be able to find a lot of West Coast Avengers or Avengers West Coast uh, books you know, on the cheap because that is a series that has been long forgotten and it just fills a lot of back issue bins. So keep an eye out for that there. Now, next up, the next few picks are really going to be Monica Rambeau focused because I, the other big event that really happens in this episode is we see that she basically gets powers. All you do is lie! As all long expected and uh, long speculated on, it looks like she's going to get powers for hopefully the foreseeable future. So that's where all these uh, next few picks are kind of focused in on. So with the next book, I'm looking at the Captain Marvel giant size special from 1989. This book has gotten ridiculously priced over the last week or so. Now, that being said, 
this isn't a first appearance. Uh, this isn't even a first new name or anything like that. This is just basically her first solo uh, book of her own. And uh, while that be that important, she really only had this issue. And then they didn't do a second issue until five years later. It's like 1994. So she's really been kind of a tertiary side character, really, for the most part. She's not really carried her own title. So I wouldn't expect too much. Uh, out of her as a character, but I think she is a good supporting character and a good part of a team, whether it be on the Mighty Avengers or the Ultimates and uh, what have you throughout the, you know, all the comic books. Next Wave was another great team that she was on. Uh, but that being said, this solo issue is not that easy to find, but it still could be in those cheap bins because this is, again, 1989. A lot of this stuff, it just kind of buries you know, in those back issue bins. So keep an eye out for it because this book is rather expensive. As I said, this one came out in November of 1989, and then she didn't get a follow-up until, you know, what was it, uh, February of 94. So like I said, it's nearly five years before she got a second issue to her series. And even that's not really a second issue, but just another special. But she hasn't carried a title all on her own. And she's, yeah, well, she's had more names than she's had titles, basically. So with that said, keep an eye out for that book. Now... Our next little bit, uh, next little book, I think, I think we should look at here is uh, this Avengers 227, which I know you guys have gotten the alerts. You've known to look out for this book a while now, and it already went up, but it kind of came back down. This one has been kind of on an up and down roller coaster kind of ride on prices. So this is the kind of one of those books that, while yes, a lot of cheap bins and dollar bins may have been picked clean of them, you know, stores restock. Stores bring in new collections all the time, and books that might have been hot you know, a year or two years ago may not be that be the case anymore. So these things get overlooked and don't get pulled, you know, when new stock comes in. So this is the kind of book that you want to keep an eye out for because it could be back in those uh those bins again because again, this is her basically first joining the Avengers in this issue. Like she just goes from being introduced in uh, Amazing Spider-Man annual number 16, as you know, that's in the book you're not gonna find in those uh dollar bins any longer. But this is an issue where she joins, you know, basically the Avengers. Now, it's possible she joins the Avengers in the MCU. I don't know. I think there's more likelihood that they might create another team, maybe like the Ultimates, where she uh, joins up with, um, you know, the Blue Marvel, Captain Marvel, perhaps, uh, whoever they do, they pick to carry on the Black Panther legacy. I don't know. Like, that seems like a more likely uh, avenue for her than just joining the regular Avengers, you know, squad that they decide to go with. But, hey, who knows? But this issue still... Uh, still has a lot of interest these days. It's her first joining the Avengers, so keep an eye out for it because it's yeah, it's just a book that can make you a couple of bucks if you find it and you don't want to keep it. But I think it's good just to have in the collection just as a, a bit of the backstory for her as a character. So moving on, we got one more. And for our last pick, uh, this is going to be a name change pick. Now, as I noted earlier, she's had a lot of names. A lot of people were expecting her to... Uh, go by her mom's call sign, Photon, but I feel like her mom already kind of has that name, so I don't think she's going to take that for her name if she does get you know, a superhero name uh, in the MCU going forward. It, it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem like something that she would do. I mean, she's not going to be Captain Marvel, because we already have one of those, and like I said, I don't think she's going to be Photon, so that kind of limits our options to maybe she goes and is, uh, I think Pulsar was one of her names, but I'm kind of leaning towards Spectrum, and that's, I think, her most current name that she has in the Marvel universe. And it, again, it makes a lot of sense when you look at the power set that she has and how she, when she crossed through that barrier spectrum with light, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. So her first as spectrum happened in mighty Avengers one, uh, as you can see here, they even get her a huge panel with a, you know, whole explanation. Hey, look, you know, she's, you know, she's got a new name, you know, again. Uh, so this is a book. There are a lot of covers for this. Now, the regular cover is uh, yeah, Luke Cage, and she's right there behind him with the rest of the team. That one's actually doing pretty well. I think it's kind of nearing 20 bucks now. So if you can find this, and I know I've seen this tons and tons in the dollar bins because it's Mighty Avengers. Those uh, oddball Avengers titles uh, didn't really have a lot of uh, interest, so they kind of filled up the, the dollar bins, at least the ones that I looked at. So... You got the regular cover. That's the one that seems to be doing pretty well right now. There's also a blank. And then you got a Scotty Young uh, baby cover, basically. It's kind of fun. And then you go into, there was a, a Deadpool, like a little Deadpool, you know, cover where they just, he's kind of worked himself in there. And then with that, there was also a one per store, I think, where it was a black and white version of that Deadpool cover, as well as another one 
per store that was a uh, color fade of that original uh, A cover as well. So, you know, those things are getting kind of expensive if you look at some of the prices uh, on eBay these days. So I'm not saying you're going to find those in dollar bins. It's just I, I just want to give this information out so you guys know oh, there's a lot of covers on this just to keep your eyes out for it because you never know. Just like the one in 50, which is a uh, Brian Hitch cover. And then there's even a couple of... Wait, now even before we get to the stores, there's a one in 25, which is the Lego. And I think there's a one in 100, which is a black and white of the Lego. And then we can get to the uh, comic book legal defense fund uh, cover, which is basically just a uh, you know, cage kind of focused. And then there's uh, another Deadpool, but it's a Hastings cover this time. Again, like I said, there's a lot of covers for this issue, but just basically look out for that A cover because that's the one you're most likely going to find. And the, like I said, it's been doing pretty well lately. So that's her first as Spectrum. So will it mean anything going forward? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But for right now, all of these books are selling very well. So just dig through the boxes, look for them, because if you are looking to make a few bucks and want to flip them, these are the types of things that you could hopefully find and uh, move pretty quickly. But I also think they're good books if you find for cheap just to keep in the collection because, you know, they're I, I wouldn't say they're all keys, but they're just interesting little tidbits that you want to have in a collection. So with that being said, if you're watching this on my channel, hang in there. I got a couple of more honorable mention picks. But otherwise, please like and subscribe to my channel as well as Tales, bookmark comicbookinvest.com because there's daily content updating every day on there. Tons of good stuff to read and great lists and articles. So please do yourself a favor. Make sure you're checking that website out because... You know, I do. I know I write for it, but I still check it every day. I only do one article, but I'm still reading it every day. So with that being said, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next week.